Okay, so we're making our teddy bears and we have our shirts, right? Our shirts that we cut down, collars off, cuffs off, sleeves off, um, front and back, and the pattern pieces that were printed out, right? The three pages. Here. Okay. Remember, some of these pieces have to have four parts. The ears need four parts. And the arms and the legs need four parts. When we are using our fabric, we are putting the right side of the fabric together, which means the printed side of this fabric is facing each other, okay? So the nice printed side is on the inside and the um, unprinted or unfinished side, the inside, is facing us when we sew. So what's gonna happen is today we are working on the little feet. And the part that we're doing is this part. It's the little cushion that the teddy bear will have when his little leg is holding up his body. So we're gonna be working on this. So you will take your large piece of fabric and the tiny circle and what we're going to do is cut out this cardboard piece you're going to need two of them so we cut the cardboard out and i've numbered mine because i have several students and i want them to make sure that they get the two pieces that they need to pair. So I've got one, and I'm cutting the other one out. And I've pre-cut these, or I've, I've pre-drawn them. And you need the cardboard because this is going to be the thing that will give your pattern piece a nice crisp edge when you go to iron it. So we're going to take one piece, this is the right side and the wrong side. You're going to take your piece of cardboard and you're going to place it sort of in the middle right there. If you want to pin it down, you can. It's kind of hard to go through the cardboard just for purposes. So you're going to do this. You are going to take your needle and thread. See? Your needle and thread. And it's going to be about an arm's length. Arm's length, arm's length, arm's length. And you're going to thread your needle. Remember when you're threading a needle, The tail end, sometimes you have to make that edge go smoothly through the eye of the needle. Okay, there's your tail, it's about a hand's width. And you're going to make a knot here. Make a knot. Roll it off. Okay, and then I'm going to cut that little edge off. Let's get rid of that. So there's your knot. And I'm going to do a basting stitch. Basting stitch is the real basic stitch that we did around our um, needle books. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to do a stitch about a quarter inch from the edge. And my 
my stitches about a half inch. They don't have to be too little or too small. You want enough so when you pull it, this piece of fabric is going to enclose the cardboard. paying attention. This happens all the time to students. I went over the edge. <laughs> okay, that is a mistake. I'm going to take that out because this shouldn't be going over the edge. Take it out. Re-thread my needle. Voila. And I'm on, I'm on this side. I'm gonna, my needle will go in the side. And I'm just making my basting stitches about a half inch, maybe a quarter inch, a little bit smaller. But I'm really using that area between the edge of the fabric and the piece of cardboard. this. I'm going to take one more stitch. And I'm back to where I started. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently pull this. So it's going to gather it. And it's going to gather, I'm going to guide it a little bit. It's going to gather up around this piece of cardboard, just like that. Okay. And you sort of have to nudge it along, fold it, and just, just kind of folding and pulling so that all of this gets pulled in. So pull, 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 pull. Pulling it in, pulling it in. And it looks like a mess in the back, and that's okay because in the end, it's going to look like this. Okay? You see how it's nicely crisp around those edges? And all I've done is pulled my fabric. So now I'm going to make a knot. I'm going to make a finishing knot where I just take a little bit of fabric and I pull and I'm going to go through the loop. You see that loop? I'm going to go through that loop to make a knot. Okay. I'm going to cut my thread. And now I have a piece of cardboard with a pin, <clears throat> but I have this very nicely tight foot um, pad for the teddy bear. I'm going to take the pin out. I'm going to go to the ironing board and I iron this down nice and flat. Nice and flat. This will be ironed. And then I'm going to remove the cardboard so that in the end I will have a nice um, ironed piece of fabric that will be ready to go on the bottom of my bear. So for today, this is what we're gonna accomplish, okay? We're gonna leave the cardboard in there. We're going to iron it down flat and then this goes back into your, uh, uh, your sheet protector with all of your um, bear parts, okay? So yesterday, we worked on the ear, right? We worked on the ear and we sewed it right sides together. We turned it inside out. And then today we're going to stitch this edge shut. Okay, we're gonna fold it in and stitch it shut. And that's the activity for today. I hope this is helpful.